Hey, arm beers, did we buy a $10,000 animal? Let's find out. Ryan, remember when we bought that possible monsoon? 100% hit, but possible monsoon? What did we do? Monsoon, baby. Did you tell me about this? Yeah. How much money did you spend? <laughs> Remember? <laughs> so this is a boy. And you guys have probably seen this in one of his videos recently. But this is a Super Mojave. Super Mojave, 100% hit um, monsoon, but it's possible that it's a visual monsoon. So when we looked at the, the um, black light, it looks like it's a monsoon to us. And a couple of thing, people think that. So once he starts to color up, we might know a little bit better. Um, a very light head for Super Mojave. It is a very light head for Super Mojave, but also in the sunlight, you can see there's a dorsal stripe here and then it blows out. It stops right here and it blows out, which is something that does happen to monsoons. It doesn't happen in hit monsoons, but it does happen in visual monsoons. And Super Mojave should have that dorsal stripe all the way down, but this one does not. So we're taking the chance on possibly getting a visual Super Mojave Monsoon, and it's possible Calico as well. So that was in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say it backwards, right? <laughs> yeah, so we bought that Monsoon from Justin. Let's show you a quick clip of what he saw when he blacklighted the animal. And here's the one we get to find out together. We got a blue-eyed Lucy in the clutch. It was, the pairing was a pastel Mojave monsoon to a Mojave calico hat. So this one could have pastel, it could have um, calico, it is a super Mojave for sure. But I wanna see what's under this pattern. So we're gonna look under the black light and see what we can see. Um, and see if we can bring out anything to help us know if it's a visual monsoon or just a head. Here we go. So you can see there's a light pattern to it and the pattern, pattern seems to fall off on the bottom half. You can see the top here, which you see in there on the top is just the spine, that's not actually pattern. But there's just not much to see. Hold on, still, I'll move for a sec. Okay, the only thing I can really see, aside from that little line there, doesn't doesn't show much. Is on the on the head here. You see the real strong stripe. It comes in and it starts there from the neck down, but it fades off after that spot, and then there's nothing after that, except for those little side patterns. So I'm gonna compare that real fast with the the other one. Here's the one soon. You see, it has the same stripe on the neck. It starts from the top and then kind of fades off and disappears. Same as this one does, starts, fades off, disappears. Um, side pattern, you kind of have the same thing. You have some patterning here on the sides and it drops off towards the belly because it goes white. Kind of similar to what we're seeing here, but I don't know, that seems a little bit more, more solid. Anyhow, you guys are seeing now what I'm seeing. I'd love to get your thoughts. So what we are gonna do today is give you guys an update. Every time that a Super Mojave sheds, uh, there should be a little bit more pattern to see. So we're going to do a black light on the monsoon, give you guys an update, and see if we really did get a great deal on a very expensive animal. I mean, it wasn't cheap to begin with, but could have been more expensive. So let's see where we're at. So this is the 100% het monsoon male, and he is possible pastel, possible calico, possible visual monsoon, and obviously a super Mojave. So hopefully, oh, of course, now he's hiding a little bit. Hopefully we'll get to see this. Why don't we put on the black light and show you guys kind of what, where we're at with a black light. So is this a visual monsoon? So there is a ton of more pattern. So monsoon will get this like stripe down here and then it blows out. And that's one of the reasons that I thought that this would be a visual. And so you can see, you can really see the neck pattern here. And then all of a sudden it just totally destroys. So what do we see on the sides here? 
The pattern is really blown out, it has like almost nothing down here, and you can see there's a little bit of pattern coming up the sides here. I don't know, Ryan, what do you think? So this this didn't exist when we first got it, and it mm -hmm. even drips down the side a little bit here. I don't know, you can see it a little bit on the camera. But, um, man, that might be. So what I saw when I when I was looking at it and what Ryan and I thought was that this had a really good shot at being a visual monsoon. Justin, just obviously super Mojave, you really can't tell. Um, but we are very, very hopeful to be producing some monsoon stuff. Um, so we do have a couple possible het monsoons, uh, females that won't be ready this year. Um, but when he's ready, we should be able to produce some stuff that'll be 100% het, you know, from him. So, or at least 50% het until we can tell. What's the belly look like? Down a little bit. There you go. No pattern. No pattern on the belly. Would be nice if there was that pattern on the belly. Here. Here, time. I'm going to zoom out a little. So that's what we're thinking so far. This is the update for him. Um, hopefully, let's see if you can get on the head. Is that in frame? Mm-hmm. So hopefully you guys are seeing some stuff that we're seeing. Why don't you guys comment down below what you think? It's crazy okay. because none of that back pattern was there before. Mm -hmm. And it does look really choppy. Mm -hmm. Like you can see, almost like a pinstriping kind mm -hmm. of look, which is what you would get with that. It's just weird that it doesn't bleed further down the belly. Could be the calico if it had calico in it. That was a thing. That is true. That calico would. Ooh. I know. What a male. Okay, why don't we turn the lights back on? Okay. So, I don't know. I think that we probably did get a really good deal on this male. Why don't you guys let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys are reaching out to us because we really love your, your connection, your comments, things that you guys are doing. Uh, we love talking to people. I want to see, you know, what is the most expensive animal you guys purchased? And what are you guys most excited about this year? Um, it doesn't have to be anything too crazy expensive, but, you know. The very first yellow belly that I bought was way overpriced. Um... Probably, but it was really exciting for me. So make sure you guys are hitting that like button if you like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And make sure you guys are watching Harp House Rock because, uh, yeah, why not? Harp House Rock is awesome. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. RMBers rule. Cut to that clip, come back. We should do the diddle loops. You should be over here for that. I'll get two two pieces of us doing. This is gonna be great. Guys, this is a one on one video on how to make a fool of yourself on YouTube as a grown man. Ready? Yep.